if you wanted to find someone who is the opposite of me, you would find my brother. You know, that he basically lived his whole life in Ohio and in Dayton. And I watched this city of Dayton be hollowed out. You know, my initial work here was helping U.S. companies invest. And he never quite understood that. But then years later, Chinese companies started going to the United States to invest. And I saw my brother's community reborn. I said, ah, and he's, he's left us. So I said, ah, he probably is looking down from heaven. He says, oh, I finally understand what you do. And Steve is not alone. Remember the flying tigers? They fought side by side with their Chinese brothers and sisters and helped liberate China from the imperial Japanese occupation during the World War II. But the people are the same. Right. They just want to live in peace. It's something that, that formed you as a man. As and, a person. Isn't and it? also, it made lifelong friends. We, so a, a group of men started friendship in China. When they got home, they said, let's continue. My father would be 103 in a week had he survived, and he was a veteran of the Pacific Theater during World War II. And he would have been so appreciative to know that all of us had the opportunity to understand just a part of what happened and what it took for all of us to come together to make a difference and end that war. And now they're back, 80 years on, to the land where they and their fellow soldiers fought and died for. We should sing for that, shouldn't we? As David Booth once did and still does today. He's a violinist of Philadelphia Orchestra. The orchestra just toured China to celebrate the 50th anniversary of their first trip to China in 1973. Yes, it's been uh, quite a wonderful, remarkable journey. I'm sort of amazed that I've lasted for 50 years, but I'm very glad. It was my first time taking a trip outside of the United States. And so to come to China was, was remarkable in itself. I mean, I had, of course, heard about China from school books and from geography and things and seeing it on TV. But I, I never dreamed that I would, would be able to come and see it, especially at such an early time. And uh, the experience of that and the people that I've met and making music with the people that I've met throughout the years has been incredibly important and one of the most satisfying things I have to say in my life. And that is what relations between China and the United States ought to be like, where people bond and become friends, where students study each other's schools and universities, where scientists research together for vaccines for the next global public health emergency.